Hey guys, it's JB here from RGV Custom Sabers, and today I'm showing you guys how to do how to do the Nano Biscotti Vision 4 settings, I guess, with changing fonts and also changing colors. Don't mind my very badly organized desktop right now. This is how I have it. How I have everything. Uh, I need to throw these fonts into my font folder down here. So. Uh, don't mind these right now I'm gonna put them down here um, but yeah I'm going to be showing you how to do the v4 um, I don't know what this is I believe these are the default files let me check real quick yeah these are the default files I didn't know that I had that on there I just made this one from a recent their default files but they have different settings for the LEDs so I'm just going to show you how to do the fonts and to change your colors if you are using a PEX and if you're not using a PEX so it's the same thing the PEX stands for power extender and the power extender is used when you're using the third channel of a uh, Nano Viscotti version 4 so first thing that you're gonna do when you're changing when you want to change your fonts or change the color is you enter you you put in your SD card to your computer your micro SD you put in an SD adapter and however you you whatever you use to communicate with an SD to your computer be a USB or adapter it doesn't matter um, you're gonna want to go to your computer and right here I have my SD card in my computer right now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you're going to select everything and you're going to copy paste so you're gonna copy and once you copy everything you can close this out paste uh, create a new folder on your desktop which I did right here and then just rename it to NB NBV4 default files assuming that your um, configuration is going to be default if not it's fine as long as it works it's okay so from here you're gonna open here and then you're gonna paste your files and you're gonna have these files in here so for this scenario a customer wants to change a yellow I did for them they said it was a little bit too orangey for them and they wanted to make it brighter into a more yellowish color so I believe this one had a yellow color setting into it so see this would be like an orange and then I have the and the it, it depends on how your saber is wired as well for this particular customer I wired it red green white so their drive which is the main LED they're going to have a full a full on red that 123 1023 their green is at 800 and then white is at zero so basically um, what you guys can do is search up color values or ask anyone in the group for color values and they should there should be a grid I believe it was on the custom saber shop their forums someone shared it I have these as well for RGB sabers but if you have RG like red green like this customer does then you can use the, those same first two same values for that as well and it should still work of course it really depends on how on the person who how it wired it how the color is going to sh actually show up like for instance say they have a lime green and they use so-and-so values and they got a, a way different color than yours not way different but it's going to be slightly different it's because of the way that their LEDs are registered so you'll get the the values in the same area so just fiddle around with them and you'll get the color eventually so you just have to experiment so this setup is like an orange color and the flash drive, the F drive is the flash on clash. So that is set on white. 
and the flash on clash mix that is basically your flash on clash like say I have the orange here so I have the orange and then I have the white flash on clash activating and I wanted the white flash on clash to be on top of the orange so the mix is all the LEDs activated at once and it's it's kind of odd but the flash on clash mix goes from back to uh, right to left so your main like your red would be the one on this side and then your middle will be that one and then your white would be that so I put one 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 because the values are zero and one zero is basically a no and one is a yes so all the ones mean that they're the that all the LEDs will activate and mix together on the flash on clash so that's what I wanted I wanted the white to be on top and so that's basically how you change the colors here depending on your LED setup for this particular customer I'm gonna go to this bank 2 and this one right here is set to a lime so they wanted a yellow so right here this would be your red and I think on his I put I give him an 800 but I'm not too sure this is a different config file that I used for another customer but what you want to do is mess around with these right here you always want to have your green on full so just change this one up and you can lower it and then your red should die down and you'll have a better looking yellow so yeah so um, also with the flash on clash mix you can remove say this one or yeah say you remove the white or any of these that means that these two these two would mix or this one would just be by itself depending on what you have in here and here so you mess around with these guys um, this is basically all you need to know about the LEDs depending on how your saber is wired or the LEDs that you have there are many configurations that you can do as far as having a saber that's my favorite combination is red uh, blue blue red or, or red blue blue whatever you have two blues and you wire them in parallel and say this is your blue and this would be your red and this would stay at zero because you're not using the third channel and you're not using a power extender so the reason that's my favorite is because you can have a blue saber a red saber or a purple saber and you can also say you have a photon blade can have a green saber with blue activated and that's why I like that combination because you can get red green blue and purple or pink um, so that's my favorite combination changing fonts is the same as the the nano v3 all you have to do from here is grab all these I'm actually gonna do it on the other one same thing you're gonna grab all these right here and make sure you have like a double like say like I have a double with these right here these two are my doubles so save one as your original files this would be like my original files right there and this is the one I'm editing just in case you mess up you'll have this one backed up just in case so whoops so you're gonna select all these and you're gonna delete them and you're gonna leave the config and the LED file there the text files there so you have those deleted the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your font I opened up my font folder and this is a plector there's a nano so you're gonna want a plector font so let's say I just get um, let's say I use this uh, Iron Man by Nova Star so I would you don't have to but you just in case you want to have everything you just copy everything that's in this folder that the font comes in whoops 
you copy everything so control copy control C or right click copy you close that and then you paste it in here so everything's here and then of course if you changed your config your whoa why was that <laughs> you know guys I'm sorry I messed up this is my prism <laughs> this is my prism folder <laughs> I'm sorry but either way the the concept is still the same you're to delete these I'm gonna delete it because I can just get these folders uh, quickly anyway so you're gonna delete these there is no LED in there sorry to confuse you guys so you're just gonna get this and then you paste in your files so easy as that so that's your you can have boot ups on the nano you can have one boot up and another thing requested is how do you change your boot up the first thing you want to do is in your copied folder in your folder that that you are editing your stuff on you're gonna want to delete this boot up and these won't matter because they, they won't play because they're extra boot ups so the only one that will play it will be boot by itself so I have a custom boot up made right here of from Star Wars Battlefront so I have this one that I made it's from episode 3 or Battlefront whatever so you're going to copy that and you're gonna paste it in here and it's gonna have this it's gonna have the original title so what you want to do is just rename it to boot and that's it so from here when you're gonna enter this back into your nano you're gonna copy everything like that and you can close this you go back to your computer and then what you do is you format it. I'm not going to format this because this saber is already done. The SD card's already good to go. So you're going to format it. And then you're going to put, it should be like this, quick format. And you put start. And it's going to format and delete everything in there. Then you open it. This is going to be empty. And then you just paste what you copied. And once it's done, you eject it like this and you remove it and your saber should be good to go guys so yeah I'm sorry to confuse you guys with this other folder that I had up here the prism um, I have a lot of folders that I need to organize um, but as far as custom boots Shamim has a folder that has a bunch of them I actually have it right here boot package and all these came from him I do make custom boot ups as well. I don't charge too much to make them, really. And I have made these, and I also have a few up here that I've made. Yeah, I've made these right here as well. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this kind of helps people out. A lot of people requested it. Um, so,. If it sucks, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to do this to help people out. So thanks, and I'll see you guys later.